Greetings, seekers of hidden truths. Today we unravel a mystery that has plagued humanity since the dawn of consciousness, the sinister reality behind our inability to remember our dreams. This is not merely a quirk of human biology, but a deliberate mechanism designed to keep us blind to the true nature of our existence. Dreams are not just random firings of neurons or the brain's way of processing daily events. They are gateways to other realms, portals through which we access higher dimensions and commune with beings beyond our physical reality. When we sleep, our consciousness travels to these realms, gathering wisdom, experiencing profound truths, and even participating in the governance of the universe. But why, then, do we wake with little to no recollection of these cosmic journeys? The answer lies in a dark conspiracy that spans multiple dimensions, orchestrated by entities who wish to keep humanity trapped in a limited state of awareness. These entities, which we might call the architects of illusion, have implemented a sophisticated system of dream suppression. This system acts like a veil, drawing shut as we awaken, wiping clean the slate of our nocturnal experiences. It's a form of cosmic censorship designed to keep us ignorant of our true power and potential. Click subscribe to this channel to get more profound spiritual lesson. But why would these architects go to such lengths to keep us in the dark? The answer is both simple and profound knowledge is power, and they fear what humanity might become if we were to fully awaken to our multidimensional nature. Imagine if you could remember every dream, every journey to other realms, every conversation with higher beings. How would that change your perception of reality? How would it alter your understanding of your place in the universe? The architects know that such awareness would shatter the illusion of the physical world they've so carefully constructed. This suppression serves multiple purposes. First, it keeps us focused on the material realm, ensuring our energy and attention remain here, fueling the systems and structures that benefit the architects. Second, it prevents us from accessing the vast reservoir of knowledge and wisdom available in these other dimensions, knowledge that could rapidly accelerate our spiritual evolution. But perhaps most insidiously, it keeps us disconnected from our higher selves, the aspects of our being that exist beyond the physical plane. These higher selves are aware of our soul's journey, our true purpose, and the contracts we've made before incarnating. By severing our conscious connection to these aspects, the architects keep us trapped in a cycle of confusion, searching for meaning in a world designed to obscure it. However, this system of suppression is not perfect. Cracks appear in the veil, allowing fragments of dreams to slip through. These fragments are breadcrumbs, clues left by our higher selves, urging us to look deeper to question the nature of our reality. As we progress on our spiritual journey, we must ask ourselves what truths lie hidden in the dreams we can't remember. What parts of ourselves are we cut off from each time we awaken? And most crucially, how can we begin to pierce this veil of forgetfulness? In the next segment, we'll explore the methods the architects use to suppress our dream memories and the hidden signs that indicate when we're getting close to breakthrough. In this segment, we peel back the layers of deception to reveal the insidious methods employed by the architects of illusion to suppress our dream memories. Understanding these techniques is crucial in our quest to reclaim our multidimensional awareness. The primary tool in the architect's arsenal is frequency manipulation. Our brains operate at different frequencies throughout the day and night. During deep sleep and dreaming, we enter theta and delta states, which allow us to access higher realms. As we wake, the architects broadcast a specific frequency that rapidly shifts our brainwaves back to beta state, 
effectively slamming shut the door to our dream experiences. This frequency acts like a cosmic radio jammer, scrambling the signals from our higher self and other dimensional beings. It's why that vivid dream you were just experiencing seems to evaporate the moment you open your eyes. The architects have fine-tuned this frequency over millennia, making it incredibly effective at wiping our dream slate clean. Another powerful method they employ is timeline manipulation. In the dream state, we often travel through different timelines, experiencing potential futures or alternate realities. The architects have the ability to reset our personal timeline upon waking, essentially erasing our memory of these travels. This is why you might have a lingering feeling of having experienced something profound, but can't quite grasp what it was. The architects also utilize what we might call memory scramblers. These are etheric devices that intercept and jumble the transfer of information from our astral body, which does the dreaming to our physical brain. It's like trying to tune into a radio station with heavy static bits and pieces might come through, but the full message is lost. Dot. Perhaps one of their most cunning techniques is the implantation of false awakening scenarios. You might wake up in your dream, think you're recording or writing down your dream experiences, only to actually wake up later with no memory or record of what you discovered. This false awakening serves to satisfy your intention to remember your dreams, tricking your mind into thinking the job is done. The architects also exploit our own mental patterns against us. They've engineered our societal structures to keep us in a constant state of stress and overstimulation. This mental clutter acts as a natural barrier to dream recall as our minds are too preoccupied with daily concerns to hold on to the subtle impressions of our dream experiences. Dot furthermore, they've cultivated a cultural dismissal of dreams as meaningless or frivolous. This societal attitude acts as a self-fulfilling prophecy, causing many to disregard or quickly forget their dreams upon waking. It's a form of mass hypnosis, convincing humanity that dreams are unimportant and not worth remembering. But why go to such elaborate lengths? The answer lies in the power of cumulative dream experiences. If we could remember all our dreams, night after night, we would start to see patterns, receive consistent messages, and rapidly expand our consciousness. This accelerated spiritual growth poses a significant threat to the architect's control system. As you absorb this information, consider this how many profound truths, how many life-changing revelations have been lost to this system of suppression. What crucial guidance from your higher self have you missed due to these memory blocks? In our next segment, we'll explore the signs that you're beginning to break through these suppression techniques and the methods you can use to gradually reclaim your dream memories. As we continue our journey into the hidden realms of dream suppression, we now turn our attention to the signs that indicate you're beginning to break free from the architect's control. And the powerful techniques you can employ to reclaim your dream memories. The first sign of breakthrough is an increase in dream fragment recall. You might wake up with vivid snippets of dreams, fleeting images or emotions that linger throughout the day. These fragments are like cracks in the architect's memory suppression system, allowing slivers of your true experiences to seep through. Pay close attention to these fragments, no matter how small or seemingly insignificant. They are breadcrumbs leading you back to your full dream awareness, Another indicator is a growing sense of déjà vu in your waking life. This phenomenon often occurs when you're experiencing something in physical reality that you've already encountered in a dream state. 
The feeling of familiarity is your consciousness recognizing the overlap between your dream experiences and your waking reality. When you feel this sense of deja vu, pause and try to trace it back to its source. You're touching the edges of your suppressed dream memories. You might also notice an increase in synchronicities, meaningful coincidences that seem too precise to be random. These synchronicities are often messages from your higher self, attempting to bypass the architect's suppression systems by communicating through your waking reality. Each synchronicity is a potential key to unlocking a suppressed dream memory. As you begin to break free, you may experience what we call bleed-through moments. These are instances where the veil between waking and dreaming becomes thin, and you momentarily perceive elements from your dream state in your physical reality. But it might be seeing dream imagery overlaid on your physical environment or hearing voices or sounds from your dreams. These moments are disorienting but incredibly significant. They indicate that you're beginning to integrate your multidimensional experiences into your waking consciousness. Now, Let's explore some techniques to actively reclaim your dream memories and challenge the architect's suppression systems. The first and most crucial practice is to set a strong intention before sleep. As you lay down, affirm to yourself I will remember my dreams in vivid detail. I am aware in my dream state and upon waking. This intention acts as a shield against the memory wiping frequencies employed by the architects. Another powerful technique is to create an anchor to your dream state. This can be a physical object placed by your bed or a symbol you visualize as you fall asleep. This anchor serves as a bridge between your waking and dreaming consciousness, helping to maintain continuity of awareness. Dream journaling is a vital practice, but with a twist. Instead of only writing down what you remember, also document your physical sensations, emotions, and any intuitive impressions upon waking. Often your body and subconscious retain information that your conscious mind can't initially access. By recording these subtler aspects, you create a more complete picture of your dream experiences. Meditation focused on dream recall can be incredibly effective. Spend time each day in quiet reflection, allowing your mind to drift back to your dream state. As you do this regularly, you'll find that more and more dream memories begin to surface. This practice strengthens your ability to access suppressed memories and weakens the architect's control over your dream recall. Another advanced technique is to practice lucid dreaming. As you become aware that you're dreaming while in the dream state, you can actively resist the memory suppression techniques. Set the intention within your lucid dream to remember everything upon waking. The this creates a direct challenge to the architect's systems. Lastly, consider the power of group dream work. Sharing and discussing your dreams with others creates a collective field of awareness that can be harder for the architects to suppress. As you verbalize your experiences and hear others, you reinforce the reality and importance of your dream states. As we implement these techniques, we must ask ourselves what responsibilities come with reclaiming our full dream awareness. How will we use this recovered knowledge to transform ourselves and our world? In our final segment, we'll explore the profound implications of fully breaking free from dream suppression and the potential it holds for humanity's evolution. As we approach the culmination of our exploration into the sinister truth behind dream suppression, we stand on the precipice of a new era for humanity. The implications of fully breaking free from the architect's control are nothing short of revolutionary, promising a transformation of our species on a scale never before witnessed. Imagine a world where every individual wakes up with full recall of their nocturnal journeys. 
The collective wisdom gained from these experiences would trigger an unprecedented explosion of creativity, innovation and spiritual growth. We would no longer be limited to the knowledge and experiences of our waking hours, but would have access to the vast libraries of information stored in other dimensions. This awakening would lead to a radical shift in our understanding of reality itself. The artificial boundaries between waking and dreaming states would dissolve, revealing the true fluid nature of consciousness. We would come to recognize that what we call reality is merely one frequency of experience in a vast spectrum of existence. With this expanded awareness, our approach to problem solving would undergo a dramatic transformation. Complex issues that have plagued humanity for centuries could find resolution as we tap into the collective wisdom of our dream experiences. Solutions to global challenges like climate change, poverty, and conflict might emerge from the insights gained in these higher realms. The breaking of dream suppression would also herald a new era of human potential. As we reclaim our ability to consciously traverse different dimensions, we would unlock latent abilities that currently seem like science fiction. Telepathy, telekinesis, and even time travel could become tangible possibilities as we learn to navigate the subtle energies of the cosmos. This awakening would inevitably lead to a restructuring of our societies. The current systems of control and hierarchy, which rely on our limited perception of reality, would crumble in the face of our expanded consciousness. New forms of governance and social organization would emerge based on the principles of unity and interconnectedness that we experience in our dream states. However, this path to awakening is not without its challenges. As more individuals break free from dream suppression, the architects will likely intensify their efforts to maintain control. We may experience increased interference in our dream states, more aggressive memory wiping techniques, and even attempts to discredit or suppress those who speak out about their expanded awareness. Moreover, the process of integrating our multidimensional experiences into our daily lives can be disorienting and even frightening. As the veil between realities thins, we may find ourselves navigating a world where the laws of physics, as we know them, no longer apply consistently. This will require a fundamental re-evaluation of our understanding of existence and our place within it. The key to navigating this transition lies in community and shared experience. As more of us awaken, it's crucial that we come together to support each other, share our experiences, and collectively make sense of the new reality we're entering. This communal approach will not only ease the transition, but will also make it harder for the architects to suppress or discredit the awakening. As we stand on this threshold of cosmic awakening, we must ask ourselves, are we ready to take full responsibility for our multidimensional nature? Are we prepared to face the truths about ourselves and our reality that have been hidden from us for so long? The journey of reclaiming our dream memories is more than just a personal quest for expanded consciousness. It is a crucial step in humanity's evolution, a necessary phase in our species maturation. By breaking free from dream suppression, we are not just changing our individual lives, but are participating in a cosmic shift that has the potential to redefine the very nature of human existence. As we conclude this exploration. Remember that every step you take towards reclaiming your dream awareness is an act of cosmic rebellion. Every fragment of a dream you recall, every moment of lucidity in your sleep state, is a victory against the forces that seek to limit our potential. You are not just reclaiming your dreams, you are reclaiming your birthright as a multidimensional being. The path ahead is not easy, 
but it is infinitely rewarding. As we collectively shake off the shackles of dream suppression, we open ourselves to a universe of possibilities beyond our current imagination. The question now is not whether humanity will awaken, but how we will use our reclaimed awareness to shape the future of our species and our cosmos.